Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's uh, TA because Bitcoin potentially is forming here a rising wedge in the very short time frame. So here we are in the one hour and it looks like that Bitcoin is still struggling to break through this $9,200 resistance. We had a couple of attempts here to trade again above the $9,200 level, but currently we are still getting a rejection. Rejected. So we have now the stochastic oversold and the RSI right at the 50 and we're trading right at the bottom of this potential rising wedge. So this could be the beginning of a breakout to the downside. As I told you also in yesterday's video, I'm looking right now for a little short position. So currently I am short here on uh, Bybit and uh, my target is to ride it down towards uh, 8,800, even up to $8,000 if this is gonna play out like I think. And uh, currently we are trading right at the 20 and 200 moving average in the one hour. So we are in a very critical point. Let's see if we have a big bounce here to the upside towards uh, the $9,300 again, or are we seeing the breakout pretty soon? And also if you go over to the Bollinger Band, you can see that we are squeezing now into this uh, channel. And currently we're trading in the lower part. MACD is also shifted to the downside. So I'm expecting in the next couple of hours, uh, some more pushes to the downside. And if we go over to the four hour, here it looks a bit more bullish because currently we are trading above the 15 dollar RSI and also above the 50 moving average. So now in theory, we are shifted to the upside, even though we could break out here to the downside, the 20 and 200 moving average in the four hour should hold as a support. So in case of a breakout to the downside, watch out here for the 9,040 level, because from here we could in theory bounce again back up. So in case that you're riding this short, maybe put a stop loss as soon as we're gonna touch the 20 moving average in the four hour and we're gonna get a bounce there. So keep an eye at that uh, level and this moving average. And uh, stochastic is overbought here. So also here it looks like that we could see a correction to the downside. And if we go over to the four hour time frame. Here you can see that after being here pushing towards the top here of the Bollinger Band, currently we are retracing back to the first level, which is at around $9,080, potentially also drop towards 8950 And this is my target here somewhere between 8900 even down to 8500 to 8000 Let's see how this is going to play out. But as soon as we're going to touch here this 9K area and we're going to have a bounce to the upside, I potentially close it or put a stop loss. But if 8,900 is not gonna hold, I'm most likely gonna just increase my position even down to $8,000. Let's see how this short is gonna play out. But currently I am shorting here. Also remember that we have a lot of longs compared to shorts. So if you have a short open, you are getting funding rates uh, currently. And we can go over now also to the daily time frame because you can see that yesterday we had a close above the 20 moving average. So this is bullish, but we also need a confirmation. So today we should not close below $9,080. Otherwise this was a false breakout and we are again shifted to the downside. Because remember that the last couple of days we were trading below the 20 daily and now suddenly again above the 20 daily moving average. So let's see how we're gonna close today. If we have the confirmation that we can stay above the 20 daily, we should be shifted to the upside. If we're gonna close below 9,080, we could be shifted to the downside and the big dump could start. Also remember that we are trading right at the 15 RSI, so we could easily drop down here and then we have a lot of room left to the downside. Stochastic is oversold, so in theory we should bounce here, but if not, this could be ending very bad for the price, at least for the short time frames. And also in the Bollinger Band, you can see that we're struggling to break through the middle area, so we, we cannot start to trade here between uh, the 9,200 to uh, 9,950. So currently we're still trading in the lower part between uh, 9,200 to $8,500. And this would be the first target and also the main support before maybe we could even drop down to $8,000. MACD 
shifted to the downside and also if we go over to the weekly here it looks a bit better but also here the stochastic is overbought so correction here is possible RSI is above the 50 which is good and also we still didn't have yet this week a test of the 20 weekly moving average at 8200 I think it is very likely that we will go down there to test it but this is what we have to see uh, till the weekend and also here in the Bollinger Band it still looks very bullish we still could go up to $10,980 and we should have a strong support down here at around $8,200 so let's see first we're gonna go down to test it before maybe we see a big bounce towards $11,000 or higher MACD is also shifted to the upside so here in the big time frames it looks very very bullish for Bitcoin all right guys and don't forget if you want to take advantage of these big pumps and dumps all the times so if you want to trade uh, bitcoin or other cryptos with leverage you can do that for example on bybit there are also some other exchanges but bybit and famix these two is the ones that i recommend you there is also prime xbt and btart this also you can use but uh, I always recommend you to use uh, Bybit because they have the most liquidity. Femix is also not too bad. So if you need an account go down to my video description there you find some sign up links where you can get some sign up bonus and also some rewards if you use my links. So if you need an account just register through my links and you will get this sign up bonus and this uh, rewards. So on Bybit for example it's $90 totally. And also make sure to join our free Discord trading chat. It's completely for free, the chat. Everyone is welcome. And also I'm doing the live streams over on Twitch. So make also sure to join me over on Twitch. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. If you like the content, you know what to do. Please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. We do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers. Thank you again very much for your support, guys. And we see us all in the next one. Bye.